if you have made a film and it's finished and people are standing in the aisles and applauding it and the film festivals are phoning up saying, please, can we have this film that we've heard about? Then you're going to get a bigger share from a distributor than if you're talking about a bit of paper that you wrote in your back bedroom. So this, it's all about when you come to the table. If your need is, uh, is greater than their want, then you will get less. There's a whole stratum of financiers who are gap financiers who will know about a project in development, who will not put money into it, but will track it to the point when you've got a bit of money here, a bit of money, you've got some pre-sales there, but you still haven't quite got your movie. And these guys move in to complete the financing with maybe 20%. But they're, they're going to buy 60% of the hold of it. It's a ruthless business. So, so the whole question of who's entitled to what, what's fair, I'm sorry, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It's if, if, are you in the driving seat? Have you got something that they really want? You know, if I'm developing something, I wait. I've learned this. I don't take the treatment to anybody. I try to get a script without anybody being involved, which is, involves a bit of money. And then I try and get the right director on board, or at least showing serious interest, and have maybe one actor sort of sense that this. And then I've got half a chance of walking into a Hollywood studio and saying, look what I've got. At any time before that, you know, why should they be interested? Well, you're going to make the greatest love story ever told? Yeah, right. <laughs>